You wanna lose weight? Do these. <laughs> All right, so this video has a ton of views and they are giving weight loss information. As someone who has lost 500 pounds, half of it sustainably, half of it non-sustainably, I know very well the difference between the two and I'm gonna watch this and let you know if this information is good or not for losing weight. Do these. At least for 30 seconds to one minute for at least 10 sets. Especially if you want to grow fat. Alright, so they're moving their body for someone who is severely overweight. This is going to be a major workout. It's going to build strength and it's going to be cardio as well for the person who is very overweight. Moving your body is very wonderful for a variety of reasons. Is this a good way to lose fat though? The majority of the weight loss is going to occur in the kitchen. That is where most of it goes, especially when you're severely overweight. Movement is great, but it really isn't that relevant to the amount of weight you're going to lose at first because there's a lot of other things that come into play before how much calories you burn by exercise. One of the best things you can actually do to increase your metabolism and the amount of calories you burn overall, finding ways in your life to be more active, like walking further away, taking the steps, dancing in the kitchen, things like that. Those will overall increase the amount of calories you burn and it will allow you to eat more and to lose more weight without being on the treadmill or doing things that you would consider chores. But if you want to do this and make you feel good, there's nothing wrong with it. It is not really essential for fat loss. But as far as how to lose fat, I'm not hearing a lot yet. Of course, you cut down your meals to one meal, focusing on your veggies and your fruits. Do these. Is it one? How many? One meal focusing on veggie and fruits. Okay, let's look at that. Most people do this to try to force a calorie deficit, which is what you actually need. One meal focusing on fruits and veggies. If you really piled it up, maybe you can get 400 calories of fruits and veggies. Add a meat in there, another 500. We're talking 900, 1,000 calories for the entire day. All that is going to do is burn you out. Do not try to fight your body. Do not try to race the scale. Do not to try to lose too fast because it will not stay off. Your body will figure it out. You think you do all this exercise and eat little and you're getting away with something. Me while you're sitting on the couch barely moving when otherwise you would be out walking garden and doing all these other things because your body is actively fighting you it's conserving energy at every step things that you wouldn't even consider are happening you're moving slower you're talking slower you're thinking slower your concentration is messed up you're not getting sleep do not do it it's not worth it and it doesn't work so guys don't eat past 7 p.m that means no not 8 or 9 p.m as well Okay, so don't eat past 7 p.m. Kind of like some gremlin type of rules, but a little bit earlier. Why do the mogwais get to party when we don't? I don't know. <laughs> But uh, again, this is a way to create a calorie deficit that he's just throwing that out there to everyone in every lifestyle, you know, which is just you know ridiculous. It only matters how much you eat at the end of each day. You can eat 500 calories right before bed and lose weight. If you have those calories in your calorie goal, you can, you'll still lose weight sustainably. You can eat nothing but Big Macs. There's a million ways to skin a cat, but there's only a few that are actually gonna continue to work and provide long-term results, which is what you are really looking for. So for the late night snacker like myself, I always eat right before bed. I tried and fought it forever, but I just had to. I usually don't like to eat towards the beginning of the day. Like I'm naturally don't really feel hungry at all until afternoon. So I just have coffee in the morning and then save myself from calories at the end of the day because that's what works for me in my life. Now that's not for everyone. Some people work out late. Some people work out early. Some people go to bed really early. You know, whatever it is for you, but as long as you're in a calorie deficit, it doesn't matter. You can eat after seven. You can eat at eight. You can eat at nine. You can eat at 10. Last night I ate at midnight right before bed and I am maintaining a 285 pound weight loss. So it can be done. I'm doing it. You can do it too. You don't have to follow gremlin rules. So in conclusion, to tackle the main part of losing weight and fat, which is a calorie deficit, their advice is to only eat once a day and do not eat after 7 p.m. Now, I guess it would be pretty easy not to eat after 7 p.m. if you're only allowed to eat once a day. So that kind of takes care of itself. But neither of those things are needed. Now, imagine taking this advice and saying, I'm never going to eat after 7. I'm going to eat once a day. How long do you think you can do that? Do you think you can do that for 30 days? 60? 90? Can you do it for 60? Six months can you do it for six years that's how long i've been doing it i couldn't do that for six years <laughs> i couldn't do that for six days move your body yes calorie deficit especially if you have a long way to go getting that calorie deficit figured out is the most important step so remember you can do it it's one step at a time one day at a time it is a lifestyle change find a way you can eat that you enjoy and can continue to do that meet your calorie needs and that's going to take time and find movement that you love and if it's not doing this kind of a thing then go hiking go kayaking go walking dancing vr games find a way to move that you love do something fun don't make it a chore because this is your life you're gonna have to live it forever do something that you can keep doing i hope this helped